for example, look at this lesion. Once it was cleaned and washed, it disappeared, but we found it again. Here it is. So I like to suction these lesions into the endoscope because this accomplishes two objectives. Number one, you are creating from a flat lesion a sessile lesion, you see sessile polyp, which will be much easier to snare. And then you are marking it. You're doing a natural chromoendoscopy. And these submucosal bleeding sites allow you to find that lesion. Believe me, this technique will help you in patients who have a colon that's moving a lot. And this tiny polyp sometimes can be quite challenging to find again. Now we go to technique number two. Look at this combo two in one needle and snare. 